Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a logical DI set. It says that an online data science course had 20 modules and they had to be completed in sequence. Okay, but many students dropped out of the course in between. Now there is a table given below. It gives the total number of male, female and total students who dropped out till the completion of a particular module. So this is cumulative number. Cumulative means total. Okay. So for example, till module 3, 12 male students had dropped out. Till module 4, 10 female students had dropped out. Till module 5, 30 students had dropped out. Okay. Uh, till 6, 21 male students till 8 20 female students and so on okay now uh, this information is uh, uh, given to us in this format and some data is missing in the table so if uh, and it is given that till 20 20 modules since there is the last module 120 students so total we have 120 students Okay, and if you have to find out, let us say after 15th module, uh, 88 people had dropped out. So 120 minus 88, that will be 32 completed the last five modules. So uh, completion is total students minus dropout. Okay, some more conditions given that each student completed the first module, at least two male and two female students dropped out after every module so that is a constant that minimum four people will drop out two male and two female students after every module no student who dropped out rejoined the course okay so that would have made things even complicated so no student dropping out will come back and join these course so the first question is what is the maximum number of students who completed the 17th module but dropped before 18th module okay so we are given data about the 16th module we have data given about the 18th module. We are not given data about the 17th module. So we have to find the maximum number of students who dropped out during this. Right? They completed the 17th module and dropped out before this. Okay. So uh, what we will do is in order to find the maximum number here, we should have minimum number of people who should have dropped out till 16th module. Okay, so that we can get as many people as possible uh, dropping out in this 17th module. Okay. Now 15 is 48. So minimum 2 if we add. So 16th minimum 50 people would be there. Okay, 50 males, male uh, students. And in 18th we have 57. Right. So if we have to maximize this. Minimum 2 people are dropping every, every module. So this number maximum possible is. 55 because at least two male students have to drop out okay now coming to females if we talk about females this number is fixed at 45 now 18th is not given to us how will how can we find for 17th is we are given for 20 that is 59 okay and minimum two will drop out every time right so three if we talk about three uh, different modules so in three, there can be minimum drop of six. Okay. So if we have six reduced here, we can get maximum value of 53. Okay. So till 16th, 95 students had dropped out. And after 17, so what we did was we maximize this number so that we get the maximum number of people dropping out during the 17th module. Okay. So this gives us 108. So we can say that 13 students dropped out during this module. Okay, so maximum 13 students can drop out after the 17th module. What is the minimum number of modules that could have been completed by half of the students? Okay, now we know that 120 students are there. We have to find where will 60 come. Okay, now if we try to put 40 here, see this we cannot put less than this if we try to put 40 here is it possible it is not because uh, we have to have 41 if it is 41 and minimum two are dropping out in every module right so maximum value we can put here is 33 okay so if you put 33 here we will get 53 students have dropped out so we have to find that how in after how many modules 60 students will drop out so if you have to find the minimum number that would be 9 
because till eighth module only 53 students are dropped out so minimum nine people will uh, nine uh, modules will be completed by half people dropping out next question is if 45 male students completed at least five modules how many female students completed the fifth module and dropped before the sixth module okay so 45 male students completed at least five modules now first thing that is given to us is total number of males 120 students 59 are female so 61 will be male students okay so 61 minus 45 that is 16 people okay now 45 people completed so this is the total number of people this is the people who completed the course so that means these are the number of dropouts so 16 males dropped out after fifth module right so after fifth module 16 people must have dropped out because it is saying that 45 completed at least five modules so that means they completed fifth module and dropped out after that so 16 people dropped out after this now this is 10 so this will be uh, sorry this is 16 this will be 14 okay as total 30 students had dropped out now it is asking that uh, how many female students completed the fifth module and dropped before the sixth module so till fourth module 10 students had uh, 10 female students had dropped out till in after fifth module 14 female students have dropped out so in the fifth module four female students would have dropped out so that is the answer to this question and then the next question says which of the following statements could be true so first is six students dropped out after the 13th module now we are given data about 12th module about 15th module so 12th module we are given that 75 people had dropped out okay and after 15th 88 people have dropped out now in every module minimum four people should drop out so now 75 and 88 the difference is 13 so 13 people need to be dropped out in three modules right that is 13th 14th and 15th okay so minimum four people have to drop out so the only possibility that we can get is four four five so six people cannot drop out, out after the 13th module. So maximum four or five, minimum five, four or maximum five people can drop out. More than 100 students completed at least three modules. Okay. So if you talk about at least three modules, so uh, this number will be minimum eight because this is 10. So minimum eight should be there. That is maximum eight. So it means 20 students dropped out. If 20 dropped out, that means 100 completed 20 people dropped out 100 completed the course now it is saying more than 100 students completed that is false because exactly 100 people completed then next statement says at least 100 students had dropped out after the 16th module okay so we have to find that whether it is minimum 100 possible okay so this is 45 that is fixed now how much can we put here so we have to we have to make this minimum 100 so we have to, basically we have to get this number more than 100 okay now 18th is 57 we if we put 53 we can put maximum here because two two students will drop out two uh, male students can drop out in every uh, module so 53 we can put so 53 means that we can go up to max 98 okay so 100 students cannot drop out before the uh, after the 16th module okay so we can have maximum up to 98 so most of these are based on maxima and minima okay so three options ruled out the answer should be fourth option but let us check it so it says that only five students completed the final module okay so uh, if we have to make this uh, 61 so uh, 19th and 20th okay so 20th is 61 59 120 okay that is completion so if you have to find only five that is fixed number given so can we make it 115 that we need to check okay so this is 57 61 so this will be automatically 59 can we put it 56 yes it is possible right 56 if we put so we have 45 here in three module we can have 11 right so that is very much possible so that is 
could be true could be true means that this is this possible yes this is possible the other three conditions are definitely false so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions